You guys, fall is officially here and today we are reviewing three brands that either are launching or just launched some super cute fall collections. My two like favorite categories of gym fits are like the super like springy pastels, you know, fun colors. But then I also just love like the warm, bold, like deep fall tones. So I'm super excited. We have Petula and they are bringing back a new bear collection. And then we have Camo Fitness on October 4th with a bunch of new serenity pieces, some beautiful colors. Then we also have Elus Label with some super cute crossover flare leggings. So we have a ton of stuff. You guys can't even see it. This is like, this is the top of the pile. It goes down another like foot or two. So much stuff to get through. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So we are starting out with Petula because they are launching new bear. Also for Petula, I do have a discount code. It is Catherine and I believe it's 5% off. And I love a lot of things about Petula, but the thing I love the most is the Bear collection. Their leggings and shorts, Bear is just their best collection. It's so soft, so flattering, and it just will never squish you down. I held up the shorts and I was like, ooh, these look a little small. I wore them and they were not even close to squishing down my thighs. And as someone who has tried way too many shorts recently that have just turned my thighs into sausage thighs, I really just appreciated that. And you know what? Just makes you feel good. The colors I'm also obsessed with. So first is my favorite color. This is walnut. It's like a warm purple with like slight brown undertones. There's denim, which is a navy blue. Matcha, which is this like deep green. I think it's more of like a pine green. I'm wearing it on the top today as well. And then berry, which is a brighter pinky purple. If you're unfamiliar with the bear fabric, they all have a little bit of marl to them and they are super, super soft. Soft. I actually featured them in my softest leggings video. I don't think they were number one, but all the leggings in that video were super soft. So first we have just the classic bear leggings. So another thing I love about Petula is that they're really good about having two lengths of things. I am tall and I just prefer a slightly longer length. So I always go with the 26 inch leggings, but they also have 23 inches. These are actually the bear version two. So I will do a little side by side, but the main difference is just that the seams are slightly different. On these newer ones, the seam is a little bit smaller and also slightly more tapered. So they were always super flattering around the glutes, but these ones are just a little bit, a little bit more elevated. As usual, there's a seamless waistband. These are super, super stretchy, so definitely recommend true to size, but if you're in between, you can go with your smaller size. There are also no front seam. There are a lot of brands that have a marled fabric like this, but a lot of them have front seams, and I just, we don't mess with those anymore. There's also an extended gusset. Let's try these on. Okay, so here are the updated 26 inch Petula Bear leggings. So if you love like a light compression, naked feel legging, these are just the best. So we got a high rise. The waistband is double thickness, but it's still never gonna like squeeze into you anywhere. Definitely high rise goes above my belly button. No front seam. The waistband does go down decently low. The crotch gusset is extended all the way down to the thigh. It could be slightly visible from some angles, but usually I don't have a problem with it. Again, super light compression. And these are one of the only non scrunch leggings that I will give a high on the booty scale. They contour the glutes so well, you can really just, you know, get them up there and then they stay throughout your whole workout. And that's what makes them high on the booty scale. They never like sag down. They're always gonna be contouring and lifting to the glutes. These new seams, they do go above the glutes, have a little V contour as well. And the marl that they have is great for hiding sweat, cellulite, just having that little texture really helps. And they're just so soft. They'd be a great lounge legging as well. And they do come in two lengths for my shorter gals as well as my medium to taller gals. 26 inch, I wouldn't really consider it a long inseam, but it's better than a 23 inch for me. So I just absolutely love these. One of my all time favorite leggings. What might be my favorite shorts of all time. I think I have decided that these are my favorite shorts ever in the world. Like if I had to pick a pair of shorts, these are what I'm picking. The bare two six inch shorts. So again, they have two lengths. They have the four inch and the six inch. So no one is left out, but these shorts are just perfect. I know you guys are gonna be like, but what about the Amplify shorts? We have forgotten that the Amplify shorts only come to 4.5 inch or biker. 
And while I love a good biker short occasionally, the mid length, like five to seven inch, AKA, you know, six being right in the middle, is just the best length for me because my thighs, my glutes, they just take up a lot of fabric. So when I do a four inch, there's just not enough fabric left to actually be staying on my legs and prevent them from rolling. These six inch bear shorts, I have not once have they ever rolled on me. And there's nothing, there's nothing that kills the confidence more than just a pair of shorts that just absolutely dig into your thighs. You know, the sausage thighs. They like literally, it's like impossible for these to squish the thighs. The thigh seam is so stretchy and the no front seam and they flatter the glutes. It's just like, how, how could they be any better? If Alphalete came out with six inch Amplify shorts, they would be closely rivaling these. But for now, we don't have those. Anyways, these are very similar to the leggings. So let's try these on. So these are the bare shorts. And guys, I just cannot express to you my love for these shorts. Like when I hold them up, I'm like, oh my gosh, these look so small. And then you put them on and it's like, not a squish in sight. It literally just conforms to your body shape, hugs the glutes, so comfortable, not squishing into my thighs at all. So super thick thigh friendly. Cannot recommend these enough for my thick thighed ladies. We got the six inch. They wouldn't even dream of rolling up on me. They would never betray me like that. We got the no front seam, the high waist. I just like cannot say enough. If you love a good like contouring short that is thick thigh friendly, these are just so amazing. And again, we got those new seams in the back here. Not much else to say about these. I just cannot recommend these shorts enough. Then there is the bare bralette. So I did get mediums in these. Sometimes I do find that Petula bras run a little bit small. In general, with the bare sports bras though, I think that they are pretty true to size. Listen, if you are a large cup size lady and you're looking for coverage and support, Petula is probably not the place to go for bras. They have super cute bras, but they're just not the most functional. So I was able to wear this, but it was a lot of cleavage and I only wore it in the comfort of my little apartment gym. Anyways, we have an elastic along here, cut pads, a v-neck detail, and it is a T-back style. So it almost looks like it's going to be a halter, but then it just comes down to a T in the back. And both of these straps up in the front are adjustable. These are elastic straps, so they tend not to be like the softest as well. The trade-off is that they're adjustable, which is nice to have. So let's try this on. So here is the sports bra. As you can see, I have tightened this strap and not tightened this one. So the tightening of straps is definitely essential for me. So since I do have a medium in this one, when I basically tighten the straps like all the way. So as we can see, this is definitely a low coverage and low support style bra. I did wear this to the gym. Um, personally, I don't do a lot of like running around, jumping around in the gym. So it was fine for me. And surprisingly, compared to some other bras that have very low coverage, I really didn't need to like tuck myself back in per se. It just is very revealing. So there are, you know, Certain gyms I personally wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this to. I'm not saying that you can't wear this. I think it's a super cute bra, but everyone has their own, you know, level of comfort that they're willing to leave the house wearing. We do have side boob and cleavage, so it's kind of a lot. I am wearing a medium in this and it's not super snug on the band here. So I would prefer my normal size small. So all the bare tops stick with your normal sports bra size. So yeah, it does have an elastic down here, but it's not very thick, definitely not cutting into you. Just a very, you know, smooth, bra but i will say that these straps up here since they are made of that like bra strap type elastic and they're pretty skinny there's definitely potential to be a little bit itchy and cut in i definitely feel like it's not the most comfortable around my neck but the trade-off is you do get this super open back which i love a super open back sports bra so you just have this little t strap going down the back very similar to Alpha Elite's sports bra, their Wonder Sports bra they just launched, except that one was not adjustable in the front. It was only adjustable in the back. And this one is not adjustable back here, but it is here. I personally think that it's more functional to have the adjusting straps up here. So I do like that. Maybe not my most functional choice, but it is super cute. Then we have the top that I'm wearing, which is the, I believe it's the Bear Bralette open back bra. So I also got this one in a medium and let's do the try on. Okay, so here's this bralette. I do have a medium um, and I just would prefer a small. It's definitely not like, you know, gaping or like huge in any way, but because the bare material is so soft and light compression, having a small would just kind of give me a little more compression and hold. You can see right now we're at a very light support. So light support. Coverage is a solid medium. We have the spaghetti straps, but to be honest, I'm covered basically everywhere. Maybe a slight scoop around the armpits, but there'd be no risk of falling out. We do just have spaghetti straps and they could potentially cut in over time since this is a medium and it's a 
little bit on the looser side. I'm not getting any cutting in right now. There are no elastics anywhere on this bralette. We just have a double lining of the fabric that goes down the waist a little bit. So it's like a super long, long line sports bra. There is a little seam that separates the bust part with the cut pads and the double thickness little extension here. And then the back is very open. The straps just kind of come together, but there's nowhere you can adjust the straps or anything. Definitely very open back. It's just, it's definitely something I could wear more for a lounge. Probably wouldn't be a top pick gym top just for me. You could absolutely wear it to the gym. It's just, I prefer like a slightly shorter sports bras for the gym. So yeah, overall sizing, definitely true to size. I don't think you need to size up in this. Then we just have one sports bra in the mix that is not made of the bare material. So this is the Faith sports bra. Just a very simple scoop front, scoop back, thick elastic along the bottom. So it's not a long line. This is the color Oat. It does pair well with all of the bare bottoms if you wanted a little more coverage on the top. So I did get a medium in this one as well. And this one is a 78% polyester, 22% spandex, and it is a performance sleek material. So it's not that like brushed soft, it still has its own softness, but it's not the same kind of feel. So this one is definitely more of a performance style bra. Okay, so while the bare sports bras, I can definitely work with a small and prefer a small. All of their other sports bras definitely still like my size up. So this is a medium and it's fitting like a small in many other brands. I'm even getting a teeny bit of spillage. So for my larger cup size ladies, or just, you know, you know, people in general, I do recommend a size up in this sports bra. So you also have this elastic at the bottom and it's pretty snug on me in the medium and I wear a 32 band size. So we have the cup pads. I love this color. I think it's a nice little like off white. The straps are these thick tank straps. They just go up and down, but they're snug enough on me that I don't think they would fall off. The back is just a very simple scoop. We have a little logo in the center. Coverage, I'm gonna go with medium coverage. I'm definitely not falling out of this one, but it is a little bit scooped here and here. And support is about a medium as well. So yeah, a very basic sports bra. I'm personally not loving how this one fits me. It's it's just surprising because I'm a medium and the other mediums were like big and this one's like super snug. So just keep that in mind. Then there's the date night crop. So basically just this little cropped tee. It's a 92% rayon, 8% spandex and I wouldn't say it's like necessarily a sleek material, but it's not as like brushed buttery soft as their last cropped tees in the last launch, which were like brushed leggings in shirt form. But I still like this because it'll attract a little less fur. Okay, so here's the date night crop. Um, it's a good crop length for me. I love, I just love little tops like this because I always throw them on on my way to the gym doing errands. Just like a nice little like flowy boxy tee. It ends right at the top of your legging waistband so you're not showing any skin. I just love the flowiness of this. This fabric it almost has like kind of cool to the touch feeling but it's still super soft and it's just that kind of fabric that's like really not gonna get wrinkled. It has like a little sewn on logo in the corner so pretty bold branding but because it's black and this is black it's not super noticeable. Still very lightweight and cool and I would say it's a relaxed top so stick with your normal size. There's no need to size up. If you're in between though definitely choose a larger size if you're going for more of a comfy cozy vibe but yeah this one is definitely like women sizing so sticking with your normal size will definitely work then the date night long sleeve i believe this might be even like a men's shirt but you know unisex if you will this one's actually a small but it'll definitely be an oversized fit just like a nice stretchy but flowable material here's this top um clearly a men's top because this is a small and it's like covering my butt. The sleeves are like super long. So if you're looking for something oversized, you really don't need to size up in this. It's super soft though, just like very cozy. And honestly, you know, I can never use enough little home lounge tops. So I will definitely be using this for that. It could also be used as like a pump cover. Um, usually for those kind of things, I like tuck them in. If you want it a little more fitted, you can size down. But again, this is, I believe, a men's top, so it's never going to be super snug. Okay, next, let's move on to Camo Fitness. Their launch is on October 4th. I do have a support code with them. It's just my name, Catherine. This one is not a discount code, but Camo Fitness is already like really affordable. And they're definitely my favorite small affordable brand just because they're actually coming out with like unique designs and still keeping it affordable for you guys. And I just wear their stuff a lot. Their shorts 
are also pretty close to my top favorite spots. I love the colors in this collection as well. So we have Twilight Blue, which is just a pretty simple navy. Rhodonite, which is this like deep royal purple, which this is just like fall jewel tones so beautiful and then pomegranate which is another color i love for fall i love like a deep wine red and then they also have some fun little prints as well and you can pair this print with the rhodonite color if you want like a little like half print half solids We're going to start it off with the Serenity leggings. So these are a 25 inch legging and they're just like kind of a staple basic. So these are just kind of like your basic brushed material legging. The Serenity leggings are not like quite as brushed as something like a Lululemon, a Lime, a Buff Bunny Newbury. They're a little more close to performance. So if you don't like your leggings like super fuzzy, maybe like a teeny bit more compression, these ones are for you. So these are 75% nylon, 25% spandex. I always get a small and everything camo fitness they're all very true to size they have a seamless waistband as usual no front seam the serenity leggings just have a smaller gusset and they only come in the 25 inch length so not the best in terms of length there are two lengths of shorts though and they did recently switch their logo to this like silicone press on logo it's pretty bold and pretty large. With the darker colors in this collection though, it's not quite as noticeable, but with the last collection they did, that was a little bit lighter of color. I felt like it really stood out and you could see it a lot. So I wish it was just a little bit more subtle. Okay, so here are the Serenity leggings, just flat across waistband, no top seam, no front seam. Overall, this fabric always gives around a medium compression. Definitely a good amount of hold everywhere without being too tight. The back, I always give these a medium to high on the booty scale because they have these flattering seams. In terms of cellulite, I'd say you'd get maybe a little bit of cellulite coverage, not a ton, but it's definitely a like medium thickness material. And these are 25 inches, so they're always a teeny bit short for me. But yeah, these are always a great basic legging. They always stay up really well, and I just know they're very solid. And even though they're brushed, they're pretty pill resistant because the material is not quite as fuzzy as some. Then the six inch Serenity shorts, they're the exact same structure as the Serenity leggings, but they're in a six inch short form. These ones are also very thick thigh friendly. They don't roll up on me at the gym. They're just such a great like basic functional legging that also has those flattering glute seams. I just know I can count on these shorts. I don't like them quite as much as the Petula Bear shorts, just simply because of the fabric. I just love a super ultra stretchy fabric. This one's like a teeny bit more compression, but a little bit more performance as well. So here are the six inch serenity shorts in this fun little print. So same as the leggings, nice high rise, no front seam, medium compression all around. I'd say the prints, it's compressing my thighs a little bit more than the solids. So I still definitely don't feel like I have sausage thighs or it's cutting in at all. I would just be a little bit cautious and definitely if you're in between, size up. But otherwise, a small is fitting well and I still do have a little bit of space in the thighs. And then we always have the curved seams in the back, solid medium to high on the booty scale. And these prints are also definitely going to be better about hiding sweat and cellulite and all that. So these are just such a great affordable basic short. Definitely my favorite like $20, $25 short out there. So. There's also the Serenity short four inch. So the four inch Serenity shorts are actually a cross waist. So the cross waist is straight across. They are four inches. So definitely a little bit shorter. Unfortunately, the cross waist is only for the four inch. The six inch is just a flat across waistband. And then if you're looking for a flat across waistband and you like four inch, they also don't have that. But the back is about the same. They got the V contoured seams, the logo. I just think this pomegranate color is so cute. All right, so here are the four inch Serenity shorts. I actually have always just like really liked these. They remind me a lot of the Athlete surface shorts. So material's a little bit different, but they both kind of have a pretty similar cross waist. It doesn't really dip down much in the front, shows the belly button. So it's more of like a medium to high rise, definitely high along the sides and the back, but it does dip down in the front for the V. And it's a smaller V compared to the Elus label stuff that we'll be doing later today. So definitely a little less like tummy control. And again, these are four inch short. I'm not getting any cutting into my thighs. So they still are pretty thick thigh friendly. But if you are someone who has four inch shorts roll up on you, 
then these will be a problem. For me, I know that these would kind of roll up on me throughout my time at the gym. They did not roll up there, but I have worn these previously to the gym and they did roll. Compression is about a medium overall for basically everything in this fabric. And I'd still give these like medium high in the booty scale because they have those flattering seams that go above the glutes. And yeah, no seams in the waistband or anything. Super cute shorts, they're just a little bit short for me. Okay, now for a top that I was not expecting, but is definitely like a top pick of the launch. You're like, okay, like, you know, look at the front, looks like pretty basic, right? Bam, look at the back. It's a little cage back situation. This is so cute. So camo is like known for their built-in bra tops and just like their general like workout tank tops. They don't have that many like sports bras, but they have a ton of workout tanks, some of which are like some go-to favorites for me. This is the new Hannah tank top bra and it's just so cute. Just some seams here on the front. You do have built-in cup pads. Um, unfortunately, it is just like a cup pad situation on the inside. They do have some stitching to kind of keep them in place, but there is no true elastic. Um, I was worried about that. Turns out I like didn't really need it. I did wear this for a workout and the compression I got was enough that I still felt supported without a real elastic. But for anyone looking out for like a true built-in bra, this doesn't quite have that. It is a longer crop length and then the back, you have this super cute little like cage detailing. It's kind of similar to the Buff Bunny Ivy crop, which that one was super popular. So I expect that this one will also be super popular, but the Buff Bunny Ivy top, the straps are a little bit thinner. Um, I actually found that the Buff Bunny one cut into my neck a little bit as well, but it's more of like a high neck situation. And the back, the straps did crisscross while these ones are just kind of like a ladder straight across. Okay, and this top, so cute. So it's a pretty long length crop. You're really gonna be showing minimal skin. It also does have those cup pads right here. And I was able to kind of move the cup pads around a little bit to fit where they should on me. So even though, like I said, there is no true elastic in here, I still feel supported. Like I would say definitely at least a medium support. Coverage is definitely full. A little bit of scooping around here, but I wouldn't say there's any side boob spillage. This has, again, thicker tank straps than something like the Buff Bunny Ivy Crop, and it doesn't go quite up to the collarbone, but goes pretty close, and I definitely would consider it high neck. And then you have the back, and so cute, so fun. I just really don't have a lot of tops like this in my collection, and I still feel like this would be cute for lifestyle, but I was still loving wearing this to the gym, where some of Camo's other crops, I don't love to wear them to the gym. This one still kind of felt like a gym top to me. So this is definitely a top pick. The Cora athletic bodysuit is back. So I think this is probably one of the best bodysuits out there, especially for the price, because there's so many expensive bodysuits out there. But this one is one of the few that has no front seam. It actually still has some flattering glute seams on the back. It has a longer short length. So like a four inch bodysuit, those would roll up on me. I believe these are a six inch. And it also has a true built-in bra on the inside, which again, can be hard to find in bodysuits. So if you're a bodysuit person and you haven't tried this one yet, this is your sign. Okay, so here's the Cora bodysuit. I forgot how like long torso friendly this one was. It is not like too tight at all on me and that is hard to find. So for my long torso ladies, the Cora bodysuit, where it's at. So we got the six inch shorts down here. So they're gonna stay put. It's just a simple scoop back. So pretty similar to the Rose sports bra on the top actually. You have these seams that do go above the glutes. So you're not just like one big blob in the back. You actually get a little bit of a glute contour. You get a little bit of a seam to kind of split up the waist as well. And although it's kind of similar in shape to the Rose sports bra, I find that the bodysuit just has a little bit less space in the actual like bust part. So this one is more of a medium coverage. I do get a little bit of side boob. I get a little bit of scoopage here. So definitely could be better for the cup space here, but support is still about a medium. Like I would still be comfortable doing activities in this. And yeah, made of that same like kind of medium compression material. And I don't know if they're restocking the black. I really hope they do because I know that sold out super quickly last time. Although I think that this blue is super fun. Black is just like so versatile to have. Oh yeah, and with these six inch shorts down here, they are thick thigh friendly. Then there's a new pair of leggings. These are the Hannah pocket leggings. I'm not like super excited about these. I preferred the Camo Fitness Kaya pocket leggings. I just liked the seams on the back of that one better. But anyways, this is in the print. So we have no front seam, which is good. We do have side pockets, but then the back is just one of those like curve seams which it looks like it's pretty high up, so that's good. But I liked how the Kaya pocket leggings had an actual like V tapered glute seam, which is just my personal preference. Um, but yeah, 
let's try these on. Okay, and here are the pocket leggings. So nice solid high rise. There's no band or anything up here. They do, however, have this little um, like key pocket that I did not notice in the waistband. It's kind of like bunching up though. I don't know if we can see that, but I'm having a hard time making it lay flat. So I don't love that. We got the side pocket will definitely fit a full phone in here on both sides. This pattern, they always do like, I'd say pretty wearable pattern that just, it's got some irregularness to it. Irregularity, not irregularness. Um, hide cellulite, hide sweat. And I do like that this curve goes well above the glutes. So it's not necessarily unflattering on the glutes, but I just prefer a more contoured seam. So we're just gonna give it a medium on the booty scale for that reason. And then a 25 inch inseam. I still think my favorite pocket shorts from Camo are the Kaya pocket leggings. Those ones are just amazing. One of my favorite pocket leggings of all time, actually, and I would love if they bring those back, especially in solid colors, because sometimes, I don't know, I'm not like a huge pattern person. I definitely reach for a solid a lot more, but if you like that little curved seam on the back, these still are very solid leggings, same material as the Serenity, about a medium compression as usual. Then there's the Rose sports bra. So the Rose sports bra launched a while ago from Camo Fitness, but this time it's made of the same material as the Serenity leggings. Before it was made of like, kind of like a sleek performance material, but it was a little bit shiny, it wasn't my favorite. So I'm glad to see just kind of like a basic scoop front, scoop back sports bra in the same material as the leggings, because I think that will pair very well. Um, just an elastic on the bottom, cut pads, very simple little sports bra. Okay, so here is the rose sports bra. Definitely runs a little bit small because the girls are being pushed up to my neck here. It's not necessarily like uncomfortably tight anywhere. I'm just a little extra compressed. So if you're in between sizes, I would definitely size up, but I think I would still be okay with this small. Another reason I probably wouldn't size up is because I like how snug these straps are right now. And if I sized up, I might, you know, lose a strap off the side. Regardless, this has actually really pretty good coverage. I would say medium to full coverage. We definitely have a little bit of a scoop here, so that's where we're not quite full, but it goes all the way to the armpits. It may cut in a little bit over here. I am feeling a little bit of snugness around this area right here. So just keep that in mind if you're someone who has sports bras cut into your lats, but I'm fully contained otherwise. We got the cup pads in here. Support is about a medium. And then you just have a very basic little scoop back in the back. So there are a lot of like expensive versions of sports bras like this, even the Petulo one we tried earlier. Personally, I think that this one is a little bit better for larger cup sizes because it just has a little bit more space here. But yeah, very basic, but um, it's a good pairing with some of the bottoms. And lastly is the Ellen waist length tank top. So the Ellen leggings used to be made out of a different material than the Serenity, but this is the same fabric composition. And it's just a longer tank, which I love tanks that are this length because you wear them and they hit right at your legging waistband so you're not exactly showing any skin but you're still wearing like a cropped length top then it does have the full-on bra on the inside with an elastic and removable cups okay this is the kind of top that not enough brands make I'm, I'm rolling my waistband down so you can see just how long this goes but i swear every single top that has a built-in bra like this one does it's got the full built-in bra with cup pads everything it ends like here and this one it's like a full length essentially I mean, I consider this pretty full length because when I roll up my liking waistband, it's literally longer. So I'd probably wear this like slightly on the outside, but it's just nice for people who don't want to be showing skin all the time to have that built-in bra option and still be covered up. So I love this. I would love to see this in more colors. It's pretty compressive though. Definitely snug in the bra part. I think I could probably do a medium because I'm pretty compressed here. It's pretty snug all the way around, honestly. So. Definitely consider a size up. Support, solid medium coverage. I'd say, eh, I was gonna say medium to full, but I think I'm gonna go with medium because I do have a little side boob spillage, a little scoop here, and then just straight up and down straps. A very wearable basic top. I already know that this is a top I'm going to be reaching for a lot. I have a top that's about this length from Nepoa Gym. It's the Maria top, and I wear that one all the time. And I only have it in white, so this is gonna be another good one because it's a nice solid basic black. I can just tell I'm gonna like it. And lastly, we have the Elus label cinched collection. This collection has already launched, but I reviewed Elus like 
gosh, like a year ago at this point. I have tried little collections here and there, but I loved their Allure fabric from before. And it's actually pretty similar to the Petula Bear fabric, except it's definitely a little bit thicker and a little bit more structured. So you don't quite get the same naked feel as the Petula Bear. But this is the Allure fabric. As you can see, it is very similar. It's brushed, it's marled. So we got three fun little colors. These are a little bit less fall to me, but still very cute. So we have this baby blue, always a favorite, not very fall, but I love a baby blue. This is Yale blue, which is a deep navy. And then this little like oatmeal shade. So let's start off with the flare leggings. So these are the cinched crossover flare leggings and they do come in a 29 inch and a 32 inch inseam. So I went with 32 inch because I am a tall gal and that's what I need. So these look pretty flared. I'm hoping that they flare slightly below the knee because sometimes if the flare is too far down, it like hugs onto my calves and then it looks a little bit weird on me just because I do have very large calves. But I'm super excited about these because I love the material, they're super soft, a little bit thicker, so definitely better for fall. This super thick crossover waistband, which is going to be just super flattering. The seams in the back just have a slight taper around the glutes. And then yeah, you have this super fun flare. Okay guys, these flare leggings, a pleasant surprise. So first of all, super thick waistband. It's gonna really give you a lot of lower tummy control, dips down here. And then it's also nice and high rise too. Some crisscross waistbands like the camo one we tried earlier, it's just super thin and probably won't be quite as flattering if you have a little bit of a tummy that you would like to have compression on. And no one's gonna say that I said you had to have compression on your tummy. I don't think you do, but if you want it, this one has it. No front seam, we got that soft material. This one is more of like a medium compression. It has a very similar hand feel to the Petula Bear, but definitely more compressive. And I was a little bit worried about the amount of flare because I have had flare leggings in the past that just cling to your calves too much. And while these are a little bit snug on my calves on the top, they flare away at a really good point to where you still get that like skinny flare effect. But some flare leggings end up like totally clinging to my calves and looking awkward. So I feel like this is a really good flare. And I love the 32 inch inseam. Um, I couldn't go any shorter than this but this still is a good length for me. It's not dragging on the floor. It still would look like a good length of shoes. And then the back, the seams do go above the glutes. So we're gonna give a medium high on the booty scale. You're also going to get cellulite coverage with these as well. So I'd love to see these in like a basic black or something, but these are definitely one of the more solid flare leggings that I have in my closet. Honestly, definitely top three flare leggings. So I love these. Then we have the cinched crossover shorts. So this is just the video of six inch shorts. Like if you have been missing out on six inch shorts and you like them, like any of the shorts from this video, go for it. So we have a the same thick crossover waistband as the leggings, no front seam, slight little gusset. I love triangle shaped gussets because you just like, you never see them. But the ones that extend down the leg a little bit, if they're done wrong and you can see them in the front, not a good look, at least personally, I don't like to you know, have that on display. But yeah, very similar shape, slight taper in the back and a six inch inseam. And they look like they should be pretty thick thigh friendly as well. Okay, here are the shorts. And I feel like with the shorts, the high waist almost looks like a little bit more dramatic than with the flare leggings. So got a nice six inch on the shorts. They're not squishing my thighs but they still are, you know, medium compression, snug in a way that if I was in between sizes, I would choose a size up. But yeah, still have some room in the shorts. Dip down in the waist, give you a little lower tummy control, super thick waistband, lots of coverage. And then in the back, the seams go above the glutes. This fabric doesn't hug the glutes as much as the Petula Bear. So these don't get a high in the booty scale like those did. These will just get medium to high, but they are still definitely flattering with that seam going above. So yeah, definitely a solid pair of shorts. These are not going to roll because they have that length. But if I had to choose a favorite out of this collection, I think it would definitely be the flare leggings because those are just like some really nice flare leggings. Then we have the cinch twist bra. So this one slightly concerns me, much like that Petula bralette, just because it's not looking like there's gonna be a lot of coverage, which like I don't have to wear this on like a super intense gym day, so it's not essential. The front does twist, kind of like that crop shop boutique bra, but this one definitely has a more supportive back. So we have a thicker band in the back and these slightly thicker tank straps that actually do adjust in the back. So I think that's a great little addition because normally when I see a strap kind of thicker like this, they wouldn't make it adjustable. So I love to see an adjustable strap, just like 
a little thing that just can really improve a bra because sometimes, you know, we don't all have the same shoulder length. Let's try this on. This is definitely a lot of cleavage for this bra. So low coverage, um, light support. Yeah, so this is honestly even less coverage than the bare bralette that we tried earlier today. Definitely cute, like I love how this looks. I think it's super flattering. Um, it's, yeah, again, similar to that Crop Shop Boutique, the one that Oxdrox has as well, but this one actually has a little more coverage on the side. For me, I know I would be falling out of this at the gym, but if I just wanted a top on a gym day where I'm, I'm taking it easy, I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy, I would still wear this. It does have removable cut pads. It kind of looks like a halter in the front, but then it has those thick crisscross straps. So it is adjustable, which is super nice. And I love that it has this kind of thicker band on the bottom as well. If you're in between sizes, you can kind of go either way, but overall this one is very true to size and almost kind of reminds me of a swim top. And lastly is the cinch crossover crop top. It doesn't really cross over anywhere, but that's what it's called. Again, I got a size small in everything here. So we have a little logo on the top at the back, long sleeves, it is cropped, and it's all just like a single layered little top, kind of thin seams at the end. Okay, so here's the top. I don't love when brands make tops and sports bras that like, I don't know, almost like don't really go together as like a part of the fit. I mean, I guess if you want to see your straps, that's fine, um, but I prefer tops that like maybe don't show the straps. Other than that, it is a nice top. So this material, it's pretty impressive on the arms, so I would definitely say size up if in between. Um, the sleeves are also super long, which I love like a super long sleeve with a thumb hole, guys. We got thumb holes. For some reason, I've been trying a lot of long sleeves lately that just didn't have thumb holes, so. Love to see the thumb holes. We got that seam here, kind of like this, like almost like trapezoidal situation for the neckline, which I actually think is pretty cute. And then the back is just very plain. So just a little long sleeve top to give a little more coverage because the bra is definitely a good amount of cleavage. Okay guys, that is it for the review. There was a ton of stuff today. Honestly, this review wasn't even planned. I just got all of these packages this week and figured you guys would wanna know about it. So in terms of top picks for all of these launches, if you have not tried Petula Bear yet, I highly recommend either snagging a pair of the shorts or the leggings. I honestly love them both. The leggings are warm enough for fall, but they're not like super heavy. So I can still wear them occasionally in the summer. For Camo Fitness, that Hannah crop tank situation with the cage back, so cute. And then I always love the six inch Serenity shorts as well. And then Elus, if you're looking for like a super flared flare legging with a cross waist, I know Poplex has some, but I love the little marled material of these. Definitely another good choice. If you made it this far and you are not yet subscribed, make Make sure to do so. As always, leave your video comment suggestions in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!